First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 2. Armed with bows, using both the right hand and the left, and hurling stones and shooting arrows with the bow. They were of Benjamin, Saul's brethren. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 33 through 34. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of the weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. As we continue our study of the men who followed David, another characteristic was their ability to war. They learned how to battle with both the right hand and the left hand for hurling stones. If you've ever thrown a ball, you know that you can aim effectively with your dominant hand, but try it with the opposite hand. It's far more difficult to throw accurately. But the men that followed David learned to throw with both arms effectively. It must have taken months of training to develop such skill. We also learn to war, not in the flesh, but in the spirit. And we too must train to use our spiritual weapons, and to use them accurately. The word of God is a sharp sword, when used with skill and spiritual authority. And the right scripture for a situation can bring tremendous healing and deliverance. But we must know the word and walk in the spirit to be able to use it in warfare. Furthermore, every serious intercessor knows he must learn to concentrate his mind and will intently for battling and prayer. For his aim to be accurate and penetrating, he must overcome the tendency to wander in his thoughts and lose focus on the issue at hand. To be effective warriors, we need to train our minds and wills to concentrate so that our prayers become like lasers for breaking through in the Spirit. In this day and age, Yeshua, Jesus, is calling us to spiritual battle, and our training is critical for success and victory. We must know the Word and use it skillfully, and we must learn to concentrate in prayer for the spiritual objectives to which we are called. The Lord will equip us as we ask and seek Him for it and do our homework. Let's be inspired by David's mighty men, training diligently to take aim in our battle with the powers of darkness. God bless and carry on.